As intensive care units and hospital resources approach capacity during the second wave of COVID-19, health authorities are triaging their emergency critical care plans to decide who gets priority if there is a surge in cases. Ontario has unveiled an emergency plan that prioritizes patients based on a clinical, unbiased assessment of their chances of survival. Triage, process, overview. Once this standard care is enacted, all patients requiring critical care will be triaged according to the following basic steps. Any patients who need or are anticipated to need ICU admission, according to the eligibility criteria, should have an STMR assessment completed by the most responsible physician, MRP, and a second assessor, ideally a critical care physician, using short-term mortality risk assessment for critical illness, the STMR assessment, and clinical tools for STMR. Triage decisions apply to all patients who are being considered for critical care, since all patients must share a single pool of resources. Prioritization criteria are used to identify those patients who have the greatest likelihood of surviving their episode of critical illness, understood as likelihood of survival 12 months from the onset of critical illness based on an evaluation of their clinical presentation at the point of triage. Patients who meet eligibility criteria wish to receive critical care but have a high likelihood of dying during or within 12 months from the onset of critical illness, based on an evaluation of their clinical presentation at the point of triage, would have a lower priority for critical care resources. Patients who meet eligibility criteria and who wish to receive critical care should be assigned one of four colors that identifies their predicted short-term mortality risk based on short-term mortality risk assessment for critical illness. Insufficient information where there is insufficient evidence to support a reasonable clinical judgment regarding whether a patient meets prioritization criteria, the default should be to offer the patient a trial of critical care if available. Urgent decision making. If time does not permit the completion of a full STMR assessment because of the acuity of a patient's illness, clinicians should continue to follow the standard of care that would exist in non-surge situations. A full STMR assessment can be completed once the patient has become more stable. In a level one triage scenario, patients who have a greater than 20% chance of surviving 12 months from the onset of critical illness based on an evaluation of their clinical presentation at point of triage should be prioritized. This includes those with color codes of green, yellow, and purple. In a level two triage scenario, patients who have a greater than 50% chance of surviving 12 months from the onset of critical illness should be prioritized. This includes those with color codes of green and yellow. In a level three triage scenario, patients who have a greater than 70% chance of surviving 12 months from the onset of critical illness should be prioritized. Priority groups include those with the color code of green. It is anticipated that the patient's STMR assessment would not generally change throughout a patient's stay. Thus, a triage assessment should occur in advance of any deterioration when possible. A second physician must conduct an independent assessment of the patient's mortality risk and eligibility for critical care, ideally a physician with critical care experience. Ideally, both physicians will achieve consensus on the STMR assessment. If not, any differences should be noted in the health record and the decision defaults to the STMR with the lower prediction of mortality, that is, the more optimistic prognosis.